still. This is what the measles outbreak in California looks like. A four month old baby named Mobius Loop. Too young to have the measles vaccine, but not too young to have the measles. These are pictures of Mobius that his parents took just last week. It was just shocking. I think I'm still kind of stunned about all that. I just, it's hard to believe the first time he got sick, he got measles. <laughs> Ariel and Christopher Loop, who live in Pasadena, California, have just been able to take their only child out of home isolation after he contracted the virus after a visit to Disneyland. It was on January 31st, 13 days after their visit to Disney, that Ariel noticed. He was rubbing his eyes a lot, so I was thinking that maybe he had allergies or just something. I was going through a list of maybe what I'd eaten because he's breastfed or if we'd used any new soaps or you know anything new. But you weren't thinking measles at that point? No, not that, not that night, no. But Mobius developed a high fever, had difficulty breathing, and a rash started rapidly appearing on his head and body. His parents rushed him to this Pasadena hospital where tests were taken, which would ultimately confirm their baby was a victim of measles. Mobius was given a mask and started receiving treatment. His parents started feeling panic. I was terrified. I, I kept thinking, you know, what, what's going to happen if I lose him? And I, I just, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I, I would start thinking that and just had to stop myself. What was the worst point for your son? The worst point was uh, probably day two or three after the rash because his fever was still really high and he just looked horrible and he just kept rubbing his eyes and rubbing his eyes and he just he had the hardest time sleeping. While Ariel and Christopher were frightened about how sick their son was getting, they had a parallel fear. A fear that they had inadvertently put hundreds if not thousands of other people at risk. That's because in the four days before they even knew Mobius was sick, they had gone to this restaurant and this restaurant, this store and this store. And it's the four days before a rash appears and the four days after that infected people can spread measles. If in a couple days, if the numbers start growing, it's just going to be, it's horrible. It, I just, I feel horrible. And that was all I could kept. I kept telling the health department that I told the doctors that I was just like, I, we were out so much. We went out to eat. We, we, you know, we were all over town. <laughs> and how do you feel about it, Chris? It, it kills me. Like I, I know how I've felt going through this and I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. His eyes are like the last thing I think that are still bothering him. He keeps just rubbing his face. Mobius's mother is a registered nurse, a strong advocate of childhood vaccines. They may never know for sure exactly how their son contracted his measles, but understandably are bitter about people who decide not to vaccinate their children. Their beliefs could have potentially caused lifelong issues for my son or killed him and it, it's infuriating, really, when it comes down to it. He's he's everything. It's like I I made this, <laughs> I made this, and it you know it was just the idea of losing him was just I I don't <laughs> yeah it was really scary. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Pasadena, California.